What's going on guys, it's your boy Legitimate here back with another video and today thank you guys for 5,623 subscribers. Make sure to smash the subscribe button because only 3% of you guys who watch videos are subscribed. But today's video, we do have a comparison video for you guys. I usually just do unboxings, um, that's what I've been doing mostly, but recently I haven't really got anything that's worth like a whole video of unboxing. So I'm just gonna do this today. It's actually gonna be the video I did a few videos back, which was the Skate Old Schools. I hinted towards this, that I wanted to do the Skate Old School versus the regular Old School. So that's what we're gonna do today, just compare and contrast of the Skate Old School and the regular Old School, and then which one I personally prefer or recommend to you guys. Let's just go over the regular old school first, like one of the most classic shoes of all time. Um, definitely one of the most classic vans, if not the most classic pair of vans of all time. So this is the Yacht Club. I don't have a pair of black and white old schools, so this is the closest thing I had. But this is my favorite pair of vans, so it deserved to be on here. This is always usually, not always, but this is usually a canvas material on your regular standard old schools. This is kind of more of a thin one. Once we get to the skate, I'll uh, talk about that one in a, in a little bit more detail but this is a thinner canvas material not too thin to the point where I could you know stick my finger through it but it's pretty firm but it's also kind of thin at the same time you got double stitched on the back with your um suede I think it's heel count or something like that this the back of the shoe is in suede as well as the front of the shoe and going up your laces so these two parts are suede this is double stitched right here you know to fit that in and then it's double stitched up here on the front these I mean they're not necessarily flimsy but they're not necessarily very firm either so you have your mixes of suede and then canvas on both sides over here and then canvas right here suede right there and then your old school logo is in a leather and this is a good quality leather and um, you can tell that the um, old school logo is stitched in on both sides pretty much identical on on both sides that's just how the old schools are these aren't the best example because they are rope laces um, but all your vans usually come in standard regular laces but this certain pair comes in rope laces so there's no really difference on that the midsole of the shoe is very easy to tell that there's like a there's like a pattern in here it's not very noticeable from like a far distance but you can tell that there is like a pattern to the midsole of the shoe and then up here you have like little dots all up and down that's the double stitch part as well um, just to keep it you know durable and vans does a really good job of the durability of the shoe obviously you have the vans off the wall logo on the back and red which is the color it's usually in and then obviously your gum out so on the inside lining of the shoe you do have a leather right here that you know is the same leather that was used on the old school logo obviously you have a pretty thin tongue but it doesn't need to be super thick because it's not necessarily more you know for comfort size tag always on the back and then um, the fans insole does not come out but it does have you know a tad bit of cushion i wouldn't say it's comfortable but it does have you know a little bit of give to it that's pretty much the rundown of the you know vans old school regular one with the old school skate model there are a few differences that we will talk about first off the canvas material is a little bit thicker it's made with a little bit different of a pattern than the um canvas on the regular old school i don't know necessarily how to describe it but it's a little bit thicker than the other one and it's just a different material in general so that's just what makes it a little bit better of quality the same leather old school logo right here and then you have this checkerboard pattern right here and this is to signify that it is a skate shoe i've had problems with the new skate shoes at my work at vans obviously and um this is how you tell whether it's a original version or it's a skate model it's always going to have this checkerboard pattern and underneath it's going to have the vans logo right there in the back you have the same suede that was you know up front and in the back on the other shoe but i would say this one has more give to it it's a little bit more flexible and durable at the same time as well as the toe box everything just feels a little bit more firm than your regular old schools some people do complain about these being too stiff but really if you break them in it's really not that big of a deal yeah like i said those other ones have the rope laces these have the regular laces compared to another pair of vans old schools there is a difference between it yeah i think i think this is a little bit better quality of laces i personally can tell because i have uh, you know want to compare it with, with right now it's a little bit different better quality laces which is a really good touch so most of the uppers are very similar just you know this little hit right here is a little different and then the laces are just a tad different the suede's pretty much the same just a little bit more durable in my opinion and also you have this um lace eyelet right here it's like silver that's not usually on uh, most of your regular old schools so that's a different little touch to it and that's on both sides of the shoe and then when it comes to the midsole i think this is the biggest difference between the two shoes 
use. The same pattern is on the other ones that I just showed, but this one's more glossy, which is something that some people would like, some people won't like. Me personally, I love the glossy look. It gives it a little, little bit more vintage of a style, and the glossiness just looks good underfoot. This up here, I showed you guys earlier on the regular old school. This one's a lot bigger, and I don't know, you know, what's that? what that's supposed to do. You know, maybe give you a little bit more grip when you're on the skateboard but I mean I'm not skateboarding so it doesn't really matter for me but I just think the midsole is the most different part of the comparison of these two shoes you know the glossy touch is super cool in my opinion this midsole I think is Duracap it says it over here so this midsole is different than the other one because this is a midsole that is designed to be comfortable the other one is just you know the standard midsole and outsole that fans puts on every single classic model of the shoe so the midsole is your comfortable it's obviously exactly the the same on the outsole and when it comes to the inner lining I want to say this leather is a little bit more buttery like it's a better feeling leather than it is on the regular old school it's a little bit more stiff which I told you guys like if you keep on wearing them it'll break in but some people don't like the stiffness but I don't really mind it that much it just gives you a little bit more comfort around your ankle the difference between you know the insole is this does come out and it's because it is an actual pop cush insole that is made for skateboarding this is literally a shoe that's made for skateboarding that's why it's called the skate but this one comes out and it's very very comfortable underfoot honestly i think these are probably the second or third most comfortable vans i've ever put on my feet these and the skate low versions of the regular old school and skate low the skate models of both of those they're just so comfortable underfoot obviously this logo is on the back too and this one is a little bit more indented and it pops a little bit more than the other one but that's also a small difference and it does say skateboarding down there because this is the skate old school model of the shoe. This one says world's number one skateboarding shoe on the insole and the inside, I mean, because this is a skateboarding shoe. They make a few different touches to signify that it is a skate shoe. And I think those few differences make the shoe a whole lot better than the original. I mean, obviously the original is always going to be the best version of the shoe because it's the most classic. But for skating, especially, I don't skate, but I know this is a really good skating shoe. For skating and casual wear, these are just more comfortable and more durable. That's why I prefer them to the regular. Now, you know, if I if there was like a yacht club of the skate shoes, dude, I would I would love them. I would get rid of these and get the skate version. Yeah, this is always obviously always gonna be the most classic model of the old school. But if you want, you know, to pay a little bit more to get the better quality, the better durability, and the better comfort of a shoe just like this one, I would definitely recommend the skate old school. Doesn't have to be for skating. I rock them casually literally all the time. So I definitely recommend these to you guys either one's a perfect option, you know for the summertime any time of the year Honestly, but if it comes to which one I would choose on any given day Especially working on you know five six seven hour shift I definitely go with the old-school skates and I think this is like the best comfortable version of the old school that they've made I, I, They made some other versions in the past But I think this one they knocked it out of the park on this one and uh, this is definitely the one I would choose every single time But I do hope you guys enjoyed this video video. Hope you enjoyed um, my comparison and contrast of these two shoes. Please comment down below some video ideas, anything you guys want me to do. I am likely to do it, uh, but I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Hope you guys have an amazing day, and as always, peace out.